Okay, so I have a video for you guys today, and it's going to be how to read kanji without actually knowing how to read the kanji. So it sounds kind of weird, but I'll show you what I mean by that, and we'll jump straight into the tutorial. So let me go ahead and hop into a Google Chrome browser, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so I have a web novel pulled up, ReZero, and basically the way that this works is that when you hold down shift, it'll show you the the katakana, uh, the katakana or hiragana reading of the word and then the definition for it. Um, the prerequisite for this to work effectively for you is that you must be able to read here to hiragana. And I think that would be a great way to improve your hiragana skills as long as, as well as learning kanji along the same line. So as people may know, the extension I'm using is Yomi-chan today. And I'm gonna show how that is all set up. But the quick demonstration is holding down shift, you'll see the word uh, totsujo, and then this word means suddenly with all of these different things on your anime frequency. And this here is the audio sound for it. So if I click it, you can hear the audio play and that'll give me an audio sound for the word um, that, I, that I'm looking and I'm reading along. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump into how to set that up. The first thing you're going to need to do is go into Google and type in Yomi-chan. So what you need to do is download the extension and then we'll go about downloading some of the dictionaries. So once you're in the Chrome web store, um, I believe the same thing will work for the web, uh, for Firefox. You want to install the extension. So instead of this button that I have here, it'll have an option that says install. So what that's going to do is it's going to install the Yomi-chan as an extension for you. What you need to do after it inst installs is go to this extension tab up here. And I would just click the pin button to pin it to your extensions tab here. And then um, you'll have quick access for it. If you don't want to pin it, you just have to go up to this puzzle piece each time to get the extensions. And then um, you'll be able to get that all set up there. The next thing you need to do is go back to the Google Chrome web search, uh, the Google search web search, and go to Yomichan uh, Fusoft.net. This is the creator for the Yomichan. It's a wonderful creation, um, and it's always improving. So I love seeing how it is evolving over time. A couple of key things that we have here, in that you can start to do with it, is connected to Anki using Anki Connect, and I'll go ahead and show you how to get that set up. But what you want to do is you want to go to Dictionaries. So once you click on Dictionaries, um, well, you could basically scroll down to Dictionaries, but you can click that as well. Once you get to Dictionaries, what you're going to want to do is download the dictionary for your language. Uh, my native language is English, so I'm going to click English. Then I'm going to click the JM Dict here, and then Kirei Cake. So what those three are, are the, um, you'll get the vocabulary, um, and then you'll get the Japanese names, and then you'll get the Japanese slang. So when you click it, it's going to bring up a download page, and what you're going to want to do is save it to a folder that you can access or that you know where it's located, and then just click save. I have one already in here, so I'm not going to reinstall it, so I'm just going to click no here. And uh, you're going to do the same for the other three dictionaries that I said. You can install the other dictionaries as well, or the frequency list if you would like to. But at the moment, um, we're just going to do those three. So once you have all those installed, uh, you'll be able to install them into Yomichan. So what you're going to need to do is go up to your Yomichan extension. If you don't have it pinned, you'll just go to the puzzle piece, and then you'll click the three little hamburger pieces here and then you'll click options this brings you now to Yomichan options and all you need to do is go to dictionaries okay so once you're in this dictionaries area you're going to click import and you're going to go to the folder where it's located at mine is desktop in Japanese and you're going to select um, you're going to do one at a time it's like jam dict English jam dict and then kere cake so I have some dictionaries already installed in my Yomichan, but what's going to happen is as it, when you click it and open it up, that's going to start the import into Yomichan and you'll get a little status bar that'll, that'll run along. And then once it's done running along, um, 
you'll be able to uh, basically you'll be able to hold down shift and then hover over any kanji and get the reading for it. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Um, that is all you need to have set up for your dictionaries. What you want to make sure is a couple of things that are that are selected. I'm going to scroll down and make sure that you have everything kind of the same as I do if you want it to work the way that mine is working. So what you want to do is enable content scanning. Uh, you can use hold scan using middle bounce button, but you want to make sure the scan modifier key is shift so that when you hold down shift, you get this little pop up that's going to appear in the reading. Um, what might also be useful is that what I like to have is an audio playback for the term. So this allows me to scan, click, and then hear the audio. One interesting thing, um, I have it turned off because I don't like auto, auto audio, but one interesting thing that you can do here is autoplay search results in audio. So if I, if I click that and then um, jump back into, if I hover, you can see that it, you can see that it automatically plays. So I personally don't like that, so I'm going to leave that off and then um, if you have all that ready and set up, your Yomi-chan is good to go. Um, I do want to show you an additional thing that I find very useful for Yomi-chan, and that is how you can use it for a PDF document. So what I mean by that is the Yomi-chan extension only works when you're in the Google Chrome browser. So it'll work on news articles, it'll work on online web novels, but it won't work on PDF files. Okay, so what I have here is a OneNote document, and then I have the Yomi-chan open up in another browser. The OneNote is going to simulate a PDF, and I'll go ahead and just type in some things for it to scan. And the way that I found around um, the Yomi-chan not appearing on my computer is by opening up the Yomi-chan search. So the shortcut for it is Alt Insert on your keyboard. But if you don't want to remember that shortcut, you want to click Yomi-chan and then click this magnifying glass here. That'll bring up Yomi-chan search here. And the option that you need is clipboard monitor. You want the blue button to be selected. So it's not going to allow you to hover over it with shift, but it will allow you to search up words that you come across by copying them to your um, computer. So for example, if I put in the word for homework, what I can do is highlight it control C and it's going to appear um, in the Yomi-chan search. Um, and then if you if you have if you have any other document um, that's a if you have a PDF document or any other type of document on your computer that does that has Japanese characters um, as long as when you control as long as when you copy it to your clipboard and it is those actual kanji characters um, you should be able to search it up in Anki now sometimes PDF PDFs encode um, characters in an odd way or weird way and when you do control C even though on that PDF it shows that it has the kanji characters um, when you do control C something else is copied into your clipboard and then it won't be able to read it so with that um, there's kind of no work around there you kind of are just out of luck all right and so that is how you get Yomi-chan set up on Google Chrome and that is how you read kanji without actually knowing kanji so if that video helped you out, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all those cool things. I will be releasing a video in the future on how to actually get that connected into an Anki workflow. So stay tuned for that and good luck in your studies. See you later.